to share my literature ideas for the story How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World by Marjorie Priceman. The story is fiction within the fantasy genre and some themes I've used the story for in the, in the past would be apples, maps, travel, and cooking. We'll start with reading. In the area of phonics or phonemic awareness, this story can emphasize the short A sound, ah, in the word apple, and the I, E, and Y sounds at the ends of words, like in pie, and you can compare it to words like my and by that would be on the sight word list and show boys and girls a list of words from either um, the I, E family or the Y family that they, they sound the same. Also, uh, in the reading area, we have word identification. And a type of word that is very frequent in this book are adjectives, are describing words. And so you, you definitely could look at the adjectives in the story and also emphasize the noun that the adjective is describing. In the area of comprehension, I really like sorting or ordering the recipes um, or, or even your own recipes to go along with this story. Also, this is a nice story that you can retell using a story map, um, but your story map you would want to look like maybe a map of the places she visited, so it's not a traditional story map. You can pull out a world map or make your own and have uh, students retell what happened at each place that, that the little girl visited. The story also is great for cause and effect relationships. Um, you know, one thing happens and it caused something else to happen in the story. And it's also full of rich vocabulary. Uh, the word coax, hitch, persuade, evaporate, superb, results, and churn were used in the story. And you may want to do something pre-reading or prior to reading to get the students ready for the meaning. Uh, in the area of fluency, I have nothing specific other than you know, your traditional fluency activities. Um, so we're, we'll just kind of move on from that one. Also in the area of language arts, I have um, some activities for writing that I have used with boys and girls. First would be to write a new ending about getting the ice cream so we could start a new circular story, kind of a sequel to the book. Also, it's always fun to ask boys and girls to write a recipe for their favorite food or even write a recipe for apple pie. You can very quickly tell who's been in the kitchen with their families uh, because it's very interesting how they think a recipe looks and sounds and, and the steps you would use to making um, making a, a food in the kitchen. Another uh, writing activity would be to write about where you would travel and what food you would find there. And uh, that's a great way to introduce cultural diversity if you have students in your classroom that are from other places in the world. And last, there are many transition words in the story. Sometimes with our younger writers, we call them telestory words, but they're the words that move our sentences along. So first, next, then, last, suddenly, uh, finally. You want to point those out and help them begin to use those in their own writing. Now we look outside of the language arts curriculum, we can move along to math. And in math, you can create apple stories for addition, subtraction, counting, Pretty much any of your math topics, you can use apples or items from the book um, to make story problems. Also, this story is great for measurement, specifically in the area of capacity, how much uh, something holds. Um, whenever I do apples, I do fractions, and you can look at fractions of a set, or you can look at the apple cut into slices, and you can do that physically in your classroom. And last, um, I love to have an apple tasting party where we give them different varieties of apples to taste. And uh, sometimes we even do apple foods or drinks. And through the party, you're collecting data and through the voting. And then uh, once you have your data, we'll, you can make a graph. But with younger learners, we usually use a pictograph. Uh, and you can do that with the kinds of foods that they've eaten. And with older boys and girls, you can transfer that into... Um, a bar graph or a line graph and of course because the story is about apple pie you'd want to use a pie graph and it's neat to see how the same data looks different on different graphs. In the area of social sciences this is a great uh, story for map skills finding the places that 
she travels on the map and then matching them with the product. And again, that kind of goes along with your retelling we talked about in the area of comprehension. And this is a good story for comprehension. I'm sorry, for transportation. Uh, it's a fantasy genre story. And so the transportation is a little um, fantastical. But you can talk about how you travel and really integrate that into the story. Just some other ideas I have for fun. Um, whenever I have an opportunity to do something with food in my classroom, um, you know, I try to integrate that because it's a real wor world skill and you can integrate reading, writing, and math very simply. So a fun thing to do with this book is to make a cooking show. Most kiddos have seen you know, Rachel Ray or Martha Stewart or, my goodness, there's so many cooking shows on TV right now. And so I've invited parent volunteers in and we've grouped our students into little little tables and I've had them sort the recipe um, ingredients and steps and sequence prior to the show beginning and then I actually video them or we make a podcast of how to bake an apple pie or how to eat an apple pie and then we I always put it on my teacher website for the parents to watch um, and usually I have them write a script or something prior so we're really integrating all of the activities um, eating any kind of apple foods and then an apple, the tasting the different varieties of apples that kind of went along with your math. Um, there's also some really great songs and poems for apples out there. So this is a great fall theme and um, you can collect your ideas along with mine and really have a great time using this book in your classroom.